today I'm gonna show you how I make these buffalo turkey meatball lettuce wraps. They're so delicious. It's everything you love about buffalo wings, but without the deep frying and the oven does most of the work for you. The turkey meatballs are tossed in a keto-friendly buffalo sauce. I'm gonna share my favorite one with you, but they also have all of the buffalo wing flavors inside the meatballs. I add in chopped celery, scallions, and carrots to give them great crunch and tons of flavor. They're baked in the oven until they're crispy golden brown. Then they're tossed in the buffalo sauce. I serve them on lettuce cups. I top the lettuce wraps with my homemade ranch dressing, which is creamy and cool and a perfect complement to the spicy buffalo meatballs. I have all the ingredients here for the buffalo meatballs. So for the meat, I'm using ground turkey. I was able to find some that is 85% lean, which is my preferred one to use. A lot of the time for ground turkey, you're gonna find 93% lean or 99% lean. If you can get an 85%, that's the way to go. It's great for your fat macros for keto. And plus, it's gonna give the meatballs a ton more flavor. You could also use ground chicken or ground pork, but I'm using ground turkey. So I'll open this up and add it into my large mixing bowl I have here. Normally you add breadcrumbs to a meatball, but to keep this keto and gluten free, I'm adding almond flour. This is also gonna add in more protein. So it's gonna get half a cup of almond flour. Now I'm gonna add in all of the great buffalo wing flavors into the meatball. So you usually get celery with buffalo wings. So I chop some up extremely fine and I'm gonna add that right into the meatball. I also have some finely chopped carrots. I used shredded carrots because they're already really small. I don't want too big of bites that are gonna be crunchy, so shredded carrots were perfect. I'm gonna add these into the meatballs in. I love whenever you get buffalo wings, you get carrots on the side. This is gonna add great color and great crunch. And then last, to add even more crunch and more flavor, I added in some chopped scallions. You could use white onion too if you don't have scallions, but I like the more mild flavor of green onions and also the color. To bind the meatballs, I'm gonna add in one egg. I'm gonna season the meatballs really simply with just kosher salt. They're gonna get a ton of flavor from the buffalo sauce afterwards. But inside the meatball just needs half a teaspoon of kosher salt. It messes up your manicure, so I love using a potato masher. It feels way cleaner. So I'll go in and mix this all up until it's incorporated. You wanna mix the meatballs until they are just combined, but you wanna be careful not to over mix it, otherwise they're gonna get tough. So right about here, it's perfect. And then look, clean hands. <laughs> Here I have a rimmed baking sheet. I set in parchment paper for easy cleanup and I set on the wire rack. I love baking my meatballs on the wire rack because the air can circulate all underneath the meatball so it gets crispy all around. If you don't have a wire rack, you can bake them just on the sheet, but I find they tend to uh, not get as crispy because they're sitting in all the juices they release. I'm gonna use this medium-sized cookie scoop to scoop out the meatballs, that way they're all uniform in size and my hands don't have to get as dirty. I just love all the pretty colors you can already see in these meatballs and they're gonna have really good texture when you bite into them. The meatballs are all scooped out. I had exactly enough to make 28 meatballs, so they fit here on this rim baking sheet perfect. I love when that happens. So now these are ready for the oven. The meatballs are all done baking. These took 30 minutes. You know they're done when they have an internal temperature of 165 degrees and the tops of them are nice and golden brown. If you're planning on freezing these, I would let these cool completely to room temperature and then freeze them. And then when you're ready to cook them again, let them thaw and then continue with the rest of the recipe. One last tip, if you're serving these for kids, the buffalo sauce is too spicy for my kids. So I'll pick out a couple meatballs and set them aside for my kids and they'll get the meatballs with just ranch dressing. They love these meatballs plain. So now we're going to make the buffalo sauce that we're gonna to toss all the meatballs in. So in this glass bowl, I already have two tablespoons of melted grass-fed ghee. You could also use butter. And to that, I'm gonna add in the buffalo sauce. So you could use your favorite buffalo sauce. I'm using this one made by Noble Made. It's Whole30 approved, it's like stamped right on the bottle. This isn't sponsored, it's just the one that I really like. So I'm gonna add in half a cup of the buffalo sauce. Then I'll use my fork to whisk it all together. So now to this, I'm gonna add in all the meatballs and we'll toss them to coat. We wanna get all the meatballs covered in this amazing sauce. <laughs> Last thing to do is just assemble the lettuce cuts. So here I have some butter lettuce. 
You could also use romaine lettuce or Boston lettuce or iceberg lettuce, whatever you have. My favorite is butter lettuce. So to that, you're gonna add on the buffalo meatballs. Each one is gonna get two. Then on top, I'm gonna sprinkle on a couple just shredded carrots for more crunch and pretty color. And then I have some celery that I sliced on the diagonal, so it's nice big pieces. We'll add that on too. And then last, drizzle it with the homemade ranch dressing right on top. Okay, here are the meatballs all plated up. The best part is how delicious they are. Let's go in for a bite. So good, perfect amount of spice. I love all the crunch from the vegetables that we added to the meatballs. And the creamy ranch dressing on top keeps them nice and cool and it's the perfect complement. And I also love the celery that I add on top so you're getting tons of crunch and great texture in this. I'm gonna go in for one more bite, but I think I should get bonus points that my shirt is still clean by the end of this. Mm. So good. Wait, Sonia, to try these. My husband loves everything buffalo. I want you to try yeah, these. Yeah. But these are just mild. I don't think it's gonna be spicy enough. Right? Yeah, spicy. Sean would add like ghost chilies to this if he could. That's the worst. <laughs> these are great. They're so good. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Definitely. Last tip, these lettuce wraps make such a good meal prep. I'll package them like this in my favorite glass meal prep container where everything's already coated and topped with the dressing. I'll close it, it's good like this for five days. And when I'm ready to eat it, I'll just eat it cold, kind of like a cold salad, it's so good. For the full printable recipe, head to my website, tastelovely.com. I have a link to the recipe below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss one of my keto recipes.